So now coming on to complete working on our flower pot. The next part we have to do is to create our top soil for our flower pot. So we need to make our magic ring, magic circle again. All right. And then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to single crochet six times into our magic ring. And yes, for this one, I am using a warm brown uh, yarn. You can pick any color that you wish. I just went with brown for it. All right, then pull your tail of your magic ring to close it, not super tight yet. Slip stitch into your first chain one of the round. And then you can go ahead and pull your magic ring the rest of the way to close it all up. And then we have round one. Now for round two. We're going to once again start and chain one. And then we want to put two single crochets into each stitch all the way around. So we're going to make a total of 12 single crochets this round. And then we're going to slip stitch into our first chain one of our round in order to join. And then we have round two. Now for round three, we're going to chain one. Then into our first stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. And then into our next stitch, we're going to put one single crochet. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around. Two single crochets into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch. And this round will end up having a total of 18 single crochet stitches made. And then we're going to slip stitch into your first chain one of the round in order to join. And then we have round three. And now for round four, we're going to chain one. And then we're going to single crochet two times into our first stitch. Then we're going to single crochet once into our next two stitches. And then we're just going to repeat that going all the way around. Two single crochets into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next two stitches. And this row will have a total of 24 single crochet stitches made.
All right, and then slip stitch into your first chain one of the round in order to join. And there we have round four. For round five, we're gonna chain one, then we're gonna put two single crochets into your first stitch, and then one single crochet into the next three stitches. Then we're just gonna repeat that going all the way around, two single crochets into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next three stitches. In this round, we'll end up having a total of 30 single crochet stitches made. And then slip stitch into your first chain one of the round in order to join. And then we have round five. And now for round six. We're going to chain one. Then we're gonna single crochet two times into your first stitch. Then we're gonna single crochet once into the next four stitches. And then we're just gonna repeat that going all the way around. Two single crochets into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next four stitches. And this row will end up having a total of 36 single crochet stitches made. And then we're going to slip stitch into your first chain one of the round in order to join. And that is round six. And now for round seven. We're going to chain one. And then two single crochets into your first stitch. 
and then we're going to put one single crochet into the next five stitches. And then we're just going to repeat that going all the way around two single crochets into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next five stitches. In this row we'll end up having a total of 42 single crochet stitches made. And then slip stitch into your first chain one of the round in order to join. And that is row seven. Now for round eight. We chain one. Then we're going to single crochet two times into our first stitch. And then we single crochet once into the next six stitches. And then we just repeat that all the way around. Two single crochets into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next six stitches. And this row will end up having a total of 48 single crochet stitches made.
All right, and then slip stitch into our first chain one of the round in order to join. And there we have round eight. Now for rounds nine through 13, these are simply a repeat. And I'll show you how to do row nine. We'll chain one, and then we're going to single crochet into one time into each of the next 48 stitches. And then slip stitch into your first chain one of the round in order to join. And there is round nine. So for round 10, we simply just repeat row nine. So chain one, single crochet into the next 48 stitches, and then slip stitch into your chain one in order to join.
All right, and then slip stitch into your first chain one of your round in order to join. And that is row 10. All right, everyone, so it just finished up row 13. I just wanted to take a second to show you now what it looks like. It kind of looks like a little, almost like a little mushroom top. <laughs> well, certain types of mushrooms, but um, that's just how it looks. Eventually, it's going to match up onto here, but yeah, don't take it for, you know, it looks kind of weird just like this. So next step, what we're going to want to do is create the leaves and the flowers for our pot. So I'll be right back and we'll get started on how to make the leaves and the flowers. <laughs> 